Hebrews 3, 12 through 14, leading you to fall away from the living God. Take care, brothers, lest there be in any of you an evil, unbelieving heart, leading you to fall away from the living God. But exhort one another every day, as long as it is called today, that none of you be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. For we have come to share in Christ, if indeed we hold our original confidence firm to the end. Exhort. That's what I do. That's strongly urge, okay, someone. I exhort. Beautiful born again TIs every day. You do not want to fall away from the living God. You want to stand firm in the original confidence to the end. Many people who suffer, okay, they are not willing to get to know God. There was a Gentile by the name of Cornelius, okay? He was led to the better way of salvation by Peter. This is in the book of Acts. I don't remember which chapter. Peter was called to the Jews. He was not called to the Gentiles. Cornelius was a Gentile. However, Cornelius paid alms to the poor generously, and he sought God through prayer and fasting. Because many people who suffer and they know Jesus or they claim to have accepted him as their Lord and Savior will not do this, they turn away from the Lord. They will turn to cultic beliefs. They may reject God because I'm suffering and God's not saving me, so I don't want to have anything to do with him. But they're not doing what is necessary in order to get to know him. So their falling away from the Lord is on them. If they did the two things that I said that Cornelius had done, they will get to know God and they will see God taking authority in their lives. Many people don't want that, and that's part of the problem. So many people will want to include Jesus as one of the things they do as targeted individuals. There are many targeted individuals. They want Jesus, and then they want their own knowledge about reptilians and Nephilim and Leviathans and stuff that's not even in the Bible, the book of Enoch, and they want, some of them want cultic belief. Some of them want... Some of them turn against God altogether, rather than paying tithes and offerings and seeking God through prayer, fasting, reading his word, and praising him. And then they will see God fight for them, guys. I have seen people, I have seen people, fortunately I haven't seen, any, seen anyone lose their life, but I have seen people who were targeting me have seizures, nearly have uh, heat strokes. I've seen them their vehicles flip over as they're revving their engines past me. I've seen businesses where I was being targeted where people, the, a car ran into the front of their business. Fortunately, it, it was mainly just the front and they were able to get that repaired. But God will fight for you. He will be a force field about you. And this program, they're hitting me right now, but it's so soft that I'm just barely even willing to mention it. My point is, God will make this bearable for you, beautiful by again, TIs, but you have got to get to know him. And the more you go outside of God's word and outside of what I just told you, the two main things you need to do to get to know God personally, the more you're going to be falling away from him. God, Jesus isn't just one thing you need with a bunch of other stuff like your own knowledge. Jesus is everything. Okay. Like, subscribe, share a comment, any combination thereof and praise Lord Jesus.